All right, guys, thank you for joining. Um, glad to have you here today. My name is Chico, and we'll be going over today uh, options, trading, and what are options. Uh, so please subscribe, click the like button, click the subscribe button, click that little bell you see up top. That way you'll be in tune with everything that we have dropping, all the videos and everything. So today we're going to dive into options trading and we're going to be using the Thinkorswim platform, which is the platform that I use and mostly all the other investors use. Um, we like it for our own personal reasons. Uh, we won't get into all of that. We're going to try to stick on subject to what options trading is, how to go about it, um, and what are some of the realistic payouts for options trading. So first and foremost, uh, we are on the Thinkorswim platform. So when you sign up for Ameritrade, um, you are going to need to enable your options trading um, ability. So you'll go through that, make sure you talk to a customer rep about that, but you'll definitely need that for what we're going to do. Uh, secondly, you can either use the web-based app on your laptop or you can download the desktop version, Mac or PC. Um, I do both. I usually have the website running in the background and I'm focused solely on uh, here on the desktop. So as you can see, uh, usually I have my Trader TV running that's going to have some of the latest stuff, um, but I try not to get all this stuff uh, congested. And I'm mostly going to be right up here in, the, in these charts. All right, so what is options trading? So uh, what do you think it is? Um, I know in a nutshell what options trading is, it's basically a contract, and the contract is giving us the buyer you and i it's giving us the right not the obligation but it's giving us the right to sell or to buy depending on if it's a call or a put but it's given us the right to buy or sell it's not an obligation okay so we're not obliged to that um, and, and this is all done within a specific time frame, which is the expiration. So the contingency is you have an option. You have the right to buy it or sell it. It has to be within that expiration date. And it has to meet or exceed the strike point. Or the strike price. So, you know, that's that's what the option trade, or that's what the definition of it is. So basically, it's like if, let's say, for instance, right here, we're looking at Ford, right? Um, now, if we were to do, um, let's see, right here. Just real quick, real quick. So if we're going to do an option for December 3rd, right, 2021. It's in 20 days. And we pick a strike of 12 bucks right here, right, 12. Or whatever, I don't know, 2650, right? That means we have to hit this 2650. And right now the stock is at 1950. So that's going to be on a... Uh, on a call so we have to hit 2650 before December 3rd until we're able to cash out on that so that's in a nutshell um, and basically the the options are, are taking advantage of the leverage you know we're hedging the risk that's basically what we're doing when it comes to options it costs less out of pocket um, and we have a little bit more room to use more money and hedge a higher reward. However, the risk is just as high. Um, and the strike price is 
the are these numbers right here and that's basically the number we're aiming to hit whether it's on a call and the calls going up or it's on a put puts coming down and so what we use when we're determining which one we're going to roll with we're going to look at the deltas now when you open up your options chain right when you open up your options chain in your selected stock and we're going to come play around over here on the 20th well, we'll through the 19th of november six days away currently recorded on 11 13. so if we decide to go with the 19 as a strike point that means that we have until november 19th in six days to hit this 19 strike right or let's say we're over here at the 26 the same thing so in determining that we use the delta it, it gives us a, a, a good uh, reasoning into making the decision to roll with that option or not so what we look for is we look for a 0 0.30 or above on the delta so if we're going to do a call we're going to do a 0 0.30 or higher on this delta if we're going to do a put we're going to do a negative three point or point three zero um and that's because this is working inversely this is working you know standard um so we'd go here and let's say we have a point six six on our delta that means that for every one dollar moving in a positive direction um we will be rewarded 66 cents right that's that's in a nutshell that's what we're looking at um and we have to do that within the expiration date so always remember that the open expiration date um i set up my tables differently i have volume over here open interest delta bid and ask now the open interests um, that's basically just an open contracts of what's out there that's all it is um, sometimes we do a uh, like over here right see like right here we have the implied volatility the IV the IV is say is stating this is the probability that the, the options writers are saying that this is going to move this particular option is going to move plus or minus those points so the options writer suggests that we are going to move plus or minus 1.156 points on this november 26 option whether it's a call or a put that's what they predict is going to be the movement um so as the IV increases that's more than likely a bearish market as it decreases we can say that's a bullish market so bear just means it's going to chill the bullish bull means it's going to just come out strong it's going to keep running keep climbing um so just wanted to make a, a quick video into how that works um and how i use the thinkorswim platform to make all of the trades uh, when you come down here i, I suggest you guys kind of play around with the site and come down here to the today's option statistics and you're going to see everything that's been going on today you know what i mean well as of yesterday you can see everything that's going on and this is a great tool for you to just kind of play around with and for you to get an understanding because it allows you to see the real numbers and what's moving and the stock market has it's it's things change when uh the professional traders are moving they're moving way more than what we're doing so when they start moving things around that's when we catch those big movements those big drops or those increases or those you know that's when we see everything 
so I suggest you guys uh, check everything out, do some more research on your own. Um, but the options trading is definitely something great to get into because it allows you to really maximize your dollar and to give it a little bit more leverage and hedging that 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 risk of losing. Um, it's way better than uh, at times. It's way better than buying a couple of stocks because if you buy a stock at ten dollars and it goes up two dollars, you've only made two dollars. However, if you buy an option on that, you can very well be above the two dollars in profit. You can be anywhere from five to six 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 dollars. So, uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, please do some research. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me YouTube. Share the video. Share it all over the place. If you have any questions, comment down here at the bottom. Send me an email. Send me a message. Anything. Uh, I'm really trying to make some very, very good content for people so that they can actually understand what's going on. I know at times it gets a little confusing because that's how I was. But uh, keep reading, keep researching, and place as many bets as you can. Um, I'll see you guys next time. All right, man. You guys take it easy. As they say, mahalo. <laughs>